prayer. That's what a group of protesters were doing today to bring about unity and change. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is at the Diocese of St. Pete, where a peaceful protest just wrapped up. Hey, Wendy. Yeah, so several people just finished protesting here for Black Lives Matter, and they came here to protest and to pray. Now, protesters tell me they wanted to do something to have their voices heard, but wanted to go somewhere where they felt safe. Bishop Gregory Parks invited anyone who wanted to come and protest on church property. Protesters joined in an eight minute prayer, kneeling in silence and respect for George Floyd, who died after a Minneapolis officer put his knee on Floyd's neck for eight minutes, killing him. Families and people old and young lined the streets and held signs all afternoon. We even met an 83 year old protester who wanted to come out and support Black Lives Matter. Back in the 60s, when there was separate water fountains her father who she's in her 80s so he and he refused to drink out of the white water fountain because he knew that it was wrong that segregation was wrong and that was back in the 60s and we're we're still fighting those issues and I spoke with the diocese. They said their message is to ask the community to continue to pray and not only pray, but to act to bring about change and to put an end to racism in the community and nationwide. Live in St. Pete, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.